someone that's going to have a higher degree of inflammation might be better off with a higher dose of it. But if it's rancid, I mean, then you're doing yourself more harm. And there's guys like Jay Feldman that are kind of talking about that now where it's saying, okay, if you have a rancid fish oil or a rancid omega-6 or a rancid polyunsaturated fat in the first place, that's going to be more detrimental than any potential benefit you get from it. So do you think that most of the fish oil supplements that are available are more harmful than helpful? It's a good question. For example, if I go to Costco, they have their Kirkland brand or some of these other at scale, like probably they at least write on the label, very, very regulated and what kind of standards they're adhering to, et cetera. But in general, like, I don't know, like how would you? Yeah, I'd say if you walk into the average store, I don't necessarily want to put Costco on the spot, but if you walk into the standard <laughs> store, yeah. most of them are probably doing more harm than good. Okay. Yeah, but that's not to say that a good omega-3 doesn't do you good, right?